Hey, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing a book haul I have so many exciting books in this book haul that I cannot wait to tell you about and before we do jump into this video I just wanted to say a huge thank you to a new sponsor on this channel and that is Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. You can choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $16. Every month, you get to pick what you want to receive so that there are no surprises. They have perfumes, colognes, and many unisex options. It is a flexible subscription, so you can skip any month with no penalties. And you can also upgrade it to receive two or three products per month. It is absolutely insane to me that some designer perfumes can cost anywhere from like $150, even up to like $500. And I can't imagine spending that much money on a perfume and then getting sick of it within a few days. And I love that with Scentbird, you'll get a sample size that's big enough to last you for 30 days for only $16. So you get a month's supply, you can try it out for a whole month and then decide if it's something that you actually want or not. Scentbird works directly with top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, as well as some indie labels. You can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on their website. Scentbird sent me five of their different fragrances to test out. The three fragrances that I selected to try out are the Calvin Klein Endless Euphoria, the Anna Sui Sky, and the Kate Spade New York Truly Dazzling Perfume. I really, really love the Kate Spade one. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then they also sent me this Secret Bamboo one to try out, and this one that's called Hermetica Source One. And this Hermetica Source One is my favorite out of this whole bunch, which is exciting because it's one that I didn't even pick for myself, and I don't know if I ever would have picked this one for myself. And of course, this one would be my favorite because it has bergamot essence, which is my favorite candle scent ever. And I really, really love this scent because it doesn't even smell that feminine to me. It kind of smells more like a unisex scent in my opinion, but I actually love this one so much that I actually ended up purchasing an entire bottle just of this perfume. But I really love the idea of Scentbird because you can try out all of these different designer perfumes that are so expensive and you can try them for such a cheap price and see if there's something you would actually enjoy. So make sure to click the link down below and use my code GABBY30 to get 30% off your first order, which would make it just $11. For your first one. And thank you so much again to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel and the booktube community. Let's get into all of the books that I've hauled within the last like month or so. First books that I'm hauling are all of my book of the month selections from the month of April. I actually don't have the first one with me because I lent it to my mom but it was The Hunting Wives by Mae Cobb. It's a thriller book that I absolutely loved five stars and I gave it to my mom to read immediately because she wanted to. And then the four other books for the month of April like oh my gosh I feel like April was one of the best months book of the month wise. Like April had all of these selections that I want to read all of them. One of the selections was Arsenic and Adobo. This is one that I actually did end up reading in the month of April. And this one is a cozy mystery thriller that has some Filipino representation in it. And then the next one we have is Liberty. And this one is a historical fiction novel that's an unforgettable story about one young black girl's attempt to find a place where she can be fully and only herself. And then we have What Comes After. And this one is a contemporary story, but I think it does have kind of a thriller vibe to it because the premise sounds kind of like thriller vibes because it says after the shocking deaths of two teenage boys tear apart a community in the pacific northwest an unfamiliar pregnant girl emerges out of the woods and into the lives of those same boys families it sounds super interesting though i cannot wait to read this and it takes place in the pacific northwest which like real cool because i'm in the pacific northwest and then we have people we meet on vacation by emily henry and this one is a romance. It's a friends to lovers romance. It's these people, they've gone on vacations once together every 10 years. And now something's happened between them and we're trying to figure out why they're no longer friends. And maybe they're gonna go on one more vacation together. All right, next up, Henry Holt sent me two books this month. The first one is We Begin at the End by Chris Whitaker. And this is one that I actually did read for the month of April. This one's kind of like a literary fiction, contemporary fiction kind of story. And it's mainly about this friendship relationship that grows between this man and this young girl. It's not romantic. I don't know why I said it like that, but they have more of like a father-daughter bond. And then the second book they sent me is One, Two, Three by Lori Frankel. This one is an ARC copy that this one doesn't go on sale until June, but this is one that I'm really, really excited to read. I also got the audiobook sent to me from Macmillan, so I think I'm going to be listening to the audiobook soon and reading this physically. 
but this one is a literary fiction novel that I don't know too much about it but I'm excited for it because Lori Frankel also wrote one of my favorite books this is how it always is so just for that reason alone very excited to read this one. <laughs> Ooh, and then we have St. Martin's Press sent me The Good Sister by Sally Hepworth and this one is a thriller novel this one just went on sale April 13th, very recently. The premise says two sisters, one truth, but which one of them knows it? Fern Castle works in her local library. She has dinner with her twin sister three nights a week. Okay, well that's that's very promising because I love stories that follow sisters and she works in a library, like that is so freaking cool. Okay, I legit haven't read this premise yet, so I had no idea what this is about, but it sounds like the twin sister offers to carry the baby for her sister because her sister can't get pregnant. They stir up dirt secrets from the past. What? Okay, I am intrigued. I am very intrigued by this. And the little the little thing here says everyone has a dark side. So I'm like, the fuck does that mean? Next up, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Penguin Random House because they sent me three books this month. First one they sent is You Love Me by Caroline Kepnes. This one I did read in April because I was just so excited. This is the third book in the You trilogy series. It's not a trilogy. I don't know why I said that. It's a series. I think there will be a fourth book. This one, it follows Joe Goldberg, if you didn't know. It's a TV show on Netflix, so like, you know, a lot of people know about this one now. But Joe Goldberg is one of my favorite fictional characters of all time, just because he's so entertaining to read from his point of view. And yeah, this is the third book. It's really exciting because this one takes place in the Pacific Northwest, which again, that's where I'm at. So I was pretty excited about this one. The next one they sent me is When the Stars Go Down, Go Dark. Whoa, I said down. When the Stars Go Dark by Paula McLean. And this one is one that I'm so incredibly excited about, not just because of the stunning cover. I mean, can we all agree? This is stunning. And when you kind of move it like that, like the words are like reflective. Okay. Anyways, this one I'm so excited about because it's kind of like a mystery thriller, but I feel like it's going to be written in a more like literary fiction style because this author has previously only written historical fiction books I'm pretty sure or like different genres because it's the same author as The Paris Wife and this is her first venture into writing like a thriller mystery kind of book and the only reason why I'm a little bit intimidated is because it does say it follows a detective so I'm like I don't know about that but it says it's an atmospheric novel of intertwined destinies and heart-wrenching suspense. A detective hiding away from the world, a series of disappearances that reach into her past, can solving them help her heal? It just sounds like it's going to be beautiful and stunning and everyone that I know that have read this has really loved it. So I really want to read this very soon, in fact. And then they also sent Just One Look by Lindsay Cameron. This one is an ARC copy. This one goes on sale July 27th. And this one is a thriller. And I did read this one in April. I read it. I loved it. I loved it so much. I think I'm giving it like five stars. I don't know, but I loved it. This one is, it's not the author's debut book, but it's their debut thriller kind of book. And this one, it basically just follows this woman who gets obsessed with this man and this married couple. And I just love books that have stalker vibes like this. It's one of my favorite things in thrillers. I love like obsessions. And then I wanted to say a huge thank you to Berkeley Romance for sending me The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dannon. This one, I have like literally no idea what it's about, but because it's Rosie Dannon, who is the author of The Roommate, which was one of my favorite romances, like major guilty pleasure for last year, <laughs> because I say guilty pleasure because a lot of people really didn't like The Roommate, I've noticed, um, but I don't know what it was about that book. I just absolutely adored it. I loved the characters. I loved the writing. And so this is her newest book. And this one just came out in April, I'm pretty sure. And then I wanted to say thank you to Atria Books. Sent me four books this month. Holy guacamole. These first two they sent are It Had to Be You and Astrid Sees All. They actually did send me ARC copies of both of these books earlier too. And I haven't gotten the chance to read them yet, so ooh. But yeah, still very excited to read this. I'm especially excited to read It Had to Be You by Georgia Clark because this one's been compared for like fans of Christina Lauren. And it has to deal with um, five romantic couples and wedding planners and New York City. And it just sounds like something I would really enjoy. Like, I don't know. And then Astrid Sees All is like this coming of age book that also takes place in New York in 1984. Oh, they freaking know me, don't they? Like any book that takes place in New York, I'm like automatically add to TBR. I will read it if it's in New York, I'm there. And then they also sent Six Weeks to Live. This one is an ARC copy. This one actually goes on sale May 4th. 
a which means it'll probably be available to purchase by the time this video goes up this is one that i'm very intrigued by because it sounds really interesting it says this woman jennifer barnes a 40 something woman in otherwise good health learns that she has a terminal brain tumor and she only has six weeks left to live and then she suspects that she may have been poisoned a year earlier in the midst of her divorce so she's trying to figure out what happened the heck that is so interesting like what she thought she was poisoned and then we also have where the truth lies by anna bailey this one is also an arc copy this one goes on sale august 3rd so this one's quite a ways away but this is one that i'm really excited about because it's like a small town there's like a girl that went missing i really like um when they send when the publishers send these little like character maps with these kind of books i find them to be very helpful and then on the back they sent a freaking playlist like that is so freaking cool we love to see it but i do like when they send these little character maps because they're very helpful when there's like a ton of characters because usually when you read these books that are like small town vibes you know there's like usually a million characters so i appreciate when they show like a little diagram of like who's who and i already kind of was like looking in this book and look at how cute the freaking chapter like headings are it's like little mountains and stuff but this book, I just feel like it's going to be very atmospheric because it takes place in Colorado and it's described as a literary crime novel that crackles with electricity. And then the last book that I was sent this month that I wanted to say thank you for is actually from Tanya over at Rustic Book Reviews. This girl has sent me so many books now and I'm just like so grateful to her. Like she's so sweet. She's like always sending me books on my Amazon wish list. Like what an angel. But anyway, she sent me The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson, which like what? Because The Haunting of Hill House is one of my favorite TV shows that I've ever seen in like in my life, but I've never actually read the book yet. And I've heard that the book is super different from the show. So like, of course I will go into this with caution and low expectations but you know i'm really grateful that she sent me this i'm really excited to finally be able to read the book that inspired one of my favorite tv shows of all time all right and then this last stack of books that i have here are all books that i purchased for myself this month first two that i purchased were books that i bought because of the book troop which is my thriller book club if you're new to my channel i have a thriller book club the first one is every value break by peter swanson this was actually our april read that we all read together and the live show was with Noelle. I will leave it linked down below because by the time this video goes up, the live show will have already happened. So if you would like to see all of our full thoughts discussing this book, link will be down below. And then in the month of May, um, I have The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor. This is the book that we're gonna be reading together for the month of May. And I'm going to be co-hosting it with my lovely friend Mikay. He's coming onto my channel and we're gonna be talking about this book together. And it's gonna be very exciting. And I am really excited to read this one because I've read a few books from this author now and I've always really, for the most part, enjoyed her books. So then I also bought The Drowning Kind by Jennifer McMahon. God, you know I love an author when I will go to Barnes & Noble on the day that this book comes out and purchase it full price, hardcover. You know how expensive that is? This book was $27 and I purchased it because I love Jennifer McMahon and I have no regrets because this book was really great. I actually did read it in April and it was such a great time. Like, it's so good. And this is like a horror book that kind of does like a similar thing to The Winter People where there's like a past that you're reading about and then there's a present and both of them are like connected in some way and in this book there's this like water like a body of water in both the past and in the present that seems like it's like magical water and then the last four books that i got are all arc books that i found at my local bookstore because this local bookstore that i have it has two different floors and i rarely ever go down to the bottom floor because usually they just have a bunch of like non-fiction stuff down there but then last time i was there i went downstairs and i went and saw this bookshelf that was all the way in the back corner and it was an arc shelf and they weren't really like selling the books because i know you can't really sell arc but they just said a two dollar donation is appreciated for any books that you take from the shelf and i was like what like i never knew they had an arc shelf down there and they had like all new books like they had some books that haven't even come out yet on this arc shelf and i was losing my mind because it was amazing and one of the books i got from down there is saint x this one is an arc copy of this thriller that actually came out last year that i'm still really excited about because it takes place like on an island 
and it also follows two sisters one of them go missing i think i don't know i've had my eye on this one for so long so i was so excited when i saw it there and then i also bought who is maude dixon because this is one of my favorite thrillers that i've read recently i actually did yeah i already read this but i don't even care if it's an arc copy because look at it's just like stunning like you can't even barely tell that it's like an arc and i just really wanted to own this one because i enjoyed it so much so like now i own it and then they also had Fay Far Away by Helen Fisher. This one just went on sale in January and I'm so excited to finally own this one because this one's like a historical fiction time travel kind of book. It's about this young woman who like her mom died I think when she was a kid and so she's able to like time travel back in time to go and meet her mom as an adult. And then the last book that they had there, oh my god you guys, it was My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones! Dude, this book doesn't go on sale until August 31st and my freaking local bookstore just had it sitting there on the shelf. And I am so unbelievably excited for this. Stephen Graham Jones is a horror author and his books are very interesting and very unique. And I'm just so, like, I can't. And it even came with, like, the original stuff from the publisher, like, in the book. Like, how freaking cool is that? Jennifer Daniels, aka Jade, a 17-year-old half-Indian outcast, sees recent events that only her encyclopedic knowledge of horror films could have prepared her for in this latest novel from Stephen Graham Jones. It sounds like small-town horror vibes, and then also, like, she has an encyclopedic knowledge of horror movies? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So yeah, I think it's safe to say I'm going to be going back to that local bookstore once a month to look for their freaking ARC shelf because what the heck. Those are all of the books that I hauled recently within the month of like April-ish for the most part. And yeah, I'm very excited about so many of these books. Like I have so many good books in this haul. It's overwhelming. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you enjoyed any of these books. Let me know which books you were most excited to see me get to soon. I can't even decide if I want to read like My Heart is a Chainsaw like immediately or if I want to save it for a little bit closer to August when it comes out. I don't really know, but maybe I could even save this one for like Summerween or something. Something. I don't know, but I'm overwhelmed and I'm excited. Thank you so much for watching as always and for hanging out and let me know what is the most recent book that you've hauled that you're the most excited about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon with another video. Goodbye. What are we fighting for? I can't tell